There is a tremendous amount of subsidy going on right now to encourage livestock grazing on public lands. It probably costs a child more to feed a hamster on a monthly basis than it does to sustain a cow and a calf on public lands. There is a lot of deference, I believe, from authority agencies to livestock permittees who have more influence. A lot less livestock permittees are the smaller ranching families. We're seeing large corporations in there. They control the majority of public land interest when it comes to livestock grazing. There's still the myth in the West that cowboy is king, and unfortunately, that myth is being sustained at the health of our public land. We have uh, one property of BLM land that we have a number of wild horses, and uh, they are uh, uh, quite a problem to the range. They have a tendency to go to the same area, and they overgraze tremendously, and they absolutely destroy the range. And yet we are out there you know, trying to implement the most sophisticated and modern uh, range management policies relative to uh, livestock grazing. The horse can't even get in the same ballpark with domestic livestock when it comes to destroying range. Now that's not an indictment of all ranchers. Many ranchers manage their range very well. Many don't. If it's competition for grass and it's public lands, well, I'm not sure that the horse is always the culprit there, particularly when the cattle and the sheep outnumber the horses so greatly. But we're moving now from the topic of horses into the New West versus the Old West.